Hey folks, this is Match once again. Welcome back to another review for the Dolph Lundgren Marathon. And once again, we get to a lane flick. Actually, you know what? Last one I saw, Battle of the Damned, really fun one. It has his issues, but a fun one. Dolph fighting zombies. He has some robots. Entertaining flick. But then you have these where it's just a paycheck movie. Maybe, I think Dolph, for quite a few years, was going through a divorce, so maybe he had to take these jobs for paychecks. But it's funny, even though if you find any covers of this film, posters, it makes it seem like Dolph Lundgren, Randy Couture, the UFC guy using the Expendables films, or Vinnie Jones, any one of them, or two of them, or three of them, are the stars of this film. None of them are the stars of this film. Dolph Lundgren... It would be surprising if he was in this film for more than 15 minutes. Vinnie Jones, he pops up a couple of times, and he disappears for like the last 30, 40 minutes of the flick. It makes it seem like he was going to be an important part of the film and be a villain. He disappears. I don't know what the fuck happened to his character. And Randy Couture, he pops up once in, every once in a while. Because what this movie is, it seems as if it's two films going on at the same time. You have, as sort of like a 70-30, where 30% 30 of the film, maybe even less, is Dolph Lundgren as a DEA agent looking into this case. And then you also have Randy Couture as his dirty cop who roughs up his informants, uh, will kill people and frame them and plant evidence on them. And then Dove realizes uh, he seems a bit dirty. And he says something to the effect of, one day you're going to fuck up and I'll be there. And then they both of them end a very lame fight between the two, which are slow, was poorly edited, and he just arrests Brandon Tator. Not killed, not being the fuck go out of, not being a bally. He just arrested. The the seventy or eighty percent is these two douchebags who are drug dealers in the cocaine trade. One is this wannabe tough guy who looks straight out of a fucking Calvin Klein commercial, who has his girl. And the other is a Scottish asshole who has these two girls who like to make out with each other. I think one of those two girls we find out is an undercover DEA agent working for Dolph. And the other guy, I'll just call him lead guy. And then his buddy I'll call Scottish guy. Because I don't remember their fucking names or the actors. They're not worth remembering. Because they're two, all they played was two unlikable douchebags who I hated following and hope they would get killed in the movie. I hope their characters would die. The lead guy, he goes from wanting to get out of his life and be with this girl to thinking he's fucking Scarface and not acting wise, not action wise, but thinking he's badass and he kills these other fellow drug dealers. And then this guy's asshole, he's cocky, uh, but even then, he's like, talk to the guy, you kill those guys? What are you doing? And these characters are really stupid. The lead guy, at one point, he knows his buddy's having sex. The Scottish guy's having sex. So the lead guy opens up the door, says, police! So, of course, the guy goes and shoots and almost hits him. And the lead guy, you almost got shot for because you busted in and yelled please to play a joke because you're a fucking moron. And these two guys, they want to be more in the action. They want to have better deals. They want to be higher up in the food chain and the cocaine trade. And you just don't give a shit about their story, their plight, their plot, their relationships. You don't fucking care. And the movie is, it seems poorly edited. 
whether it be in the fight scenes, the few that there are, or even just regular scenes. <clears throat> At one point, the, the Scottish guy's being cocky and just the shit beat out of him by Vinnie Jones, who's another bad guy. And then Vinnie Jones is threatening these two guys, wanting his money. And I don't know if, I don't remember if Vinnie Jones ever comes back in the movie again. Now that I, I think about it. I mean, he's on the cover. He's one of the main names. I'm not a fan of Vinnie Jones. To, in fact, I always think if Vinnie Jones is in the film, it means it's a shitty film. There's not many films Vinnie Jones is in, which is, quote, a good film. There's always exceptions to the rule, but for the most part, if Vinnie Jones is in your movie, it fucking sucks. You know, I'll be mean, fine. If I look up Vinnie Jones filmography, you know, why not? I'll make this video a little bit longer. If I look up Vinnie Jones filmography, but yeah, I don't think he comes back in the rest of the film. Which I'm like, then why the fuck did you build up this character as if he was important if he's just going to fucking disappear? I guess so. Who? Like, does anyone really buy and watch films because Vinny Jones is in it? Is he really that big of a fucking name? I mean, let's see. Oh, yeah, I forgot. He was in that fucking... Seagull film Absolution, which I ranted on, and Gutshot Street. Two Steven Seagull films I ranted on when I did the Steven Seagull marathon, where I reviewed all of his films. Yeah, those two fucking winners. He was in the Steep Plan. Oh, that lame flick. Disappointing flick. Not another, not another movie. Smoking Aces 2. Oh, Year One. So, um, pretty unfunny comedy. Midnight Meat Train. Horrible CGI and a terrible fucking ending. The Condemned. Got off a way to start Steve, Stone Cold Steve Austin's movie career. Oh, yeah, he was, I forgot he was in Submerged. So he's been in like three Seagull films. Pretty fucking bad. Oh, Blast, a disappointing action film. I think that's the one with Eddie Griffin. Gone in 60 Seconds. Uh, that's a Nick Cage film I'm not really big on. I much prefer The Rock and Con Air. I, I didn't see Lost Doctors 2 Smoking Barrels. I didn't see Snatch. Maybe those are the ones I should have seen. But, anyway. I went on that fucking diatribe because there's not much to say about the rest of the film. These two guys are just, the movie like wanders around with these two guys. Relationships, their re friendship. And then you find out the one girl is an undercover gal working for Dolph. Went to Couture. Uh, he's roughing up his informants. He goes in to talk to Lee Guy, saying, we're going to work together. The Lee Guy, again, one of his crazed moments where he thinks he's a tough guy, he thinks he's fucking Scarface, has the bodyguards and bouncers of the club grab Randy to tour, get him on the ground, and the Lee Guy shoots him in the hand, and they tell him to go out. Ready to tour his bosses, think, okay, there's something a bit fishy, what's going on with you? So you know he's going to get out of the police business. So Randy Tour, the dirty cop, goes in, takes these, some of these girls hostage. Because <clears throat> he wants to fuck up the lead guy. And this is where everyone converges. Dolph Lundgren is in there. All except Vinnie Jones, again, he disappeared, even though the movie made it seem like he was going to be a big, important character. Like, the fucking movie, like, forgot what the hell it was about. Really, no, I can't say that. The movie seemed like it didn't know what it was about. Like I say, it seems like it's two fucking films put together. 
I'm like, you know what, the Dolphin and Rain tutorial doesn't seem like to be a great one, but it seemed like the more preferred one over these two losers as our loser characters as our leads. And they're so unlikable to the point that they're willing to kill cops, murder policemen, and DEA agents. Why? There's no reason to root for them. There's no reason to be a part of them. And it's not like it's Starface where there's that part is like, okay, he's a bad guy, but it's fun to watch. It's kind of like the George Clooney from Dust Till Dawn. He's not playing a good character, as in a nice character, kind of an evil character, but he's still fun to watch. To the point that he's badass and I still like him, despite that he kills cops. <laughs> uh, same to be said for like Pulp Fiction, any other you know, movies. It's a fine line you have to walk, and this film, I don't think, did a good job with that at all. So all this happens, Regitor has these girls as hostages, the lead guy pops in, his Scottish buddy pops in, Dolphin DA agents pop in, the Scottish guy gets killed. I think the undercover girl shoots him. And then Randy Tutor shoots the lead guy's girlfriend. Ryan Tutor escapes, Dolph chases after him. The lead guy escapes and gets away, which I think is shitty since he was the worst fucking character in the film. And that helps. The worst character in your film is the lead guy. This Calvin Klein wannabe motherfucker. Looks like be on the cover of some Teen Beat magazine. And then, then, like, Dolph chases Randy Dutour. They have this lame fight. It looks slow. Maybe it was just poorly edited, poorly filmed by the director. Maybe it's one of those things that, you know, they edit a fight scene. They took time on it. But then when the movie, when this, in rehearsals is one thing. But then when you get on set, they're like, hurry, hurry, hurry. It's like, no, this is one of the things you shouldn't hurry on. Maybe you should hurry, hurry on the two fucking leads and cut some of their bullshit relationship diatribe and dialogue. And it's not even like Dolph really beats the fuck out of Tutor that much. It's just Tutor has Dolph in a strangle and because Tutor's hand is bandaged up from being shot earlier, Dolph hits it, you know, like bends it, hurts Tutor, gets him to the ground. It's not even like a lot of punches or kids or he knocked Tutor out. It's just he arrests them, they arrive, and then they take Tutor in. It's so unsatisfying. And Randy Tutor, even then, I'm not a fan of the guy. He's one of the weakest parts of the Expendables films to me. I think, since they're called the Expendables, you know, they should be expended. <laughs> Some of them, that's why they're called the Expendables, right? Some of them will be expendable. That means someone has to die. Red Tutor, you could kill that character off, because who the fuck gives a shit about his character in any of the expendable movies? Who gives a shit about him? He's a lame actor. I respect him as a UFC fighter, but he's a horrible actor. I don't buy him in any piece of dialogue and delivery of his lines. They feel forced and phony coming out of his mouth. Because he's not an actor. He's not a good actor. This type of a guy, I think Dolph Lundgren is a good actor. And that's why I can say Dolph Lundgren is a good actor. Because it's like, if you think he's a bad actor, just look at Randy Tutor. And compare the two. Yeah, I think Dolph wins easily in that, in that bout. And then the lead guy just gets away, goes to the beach and says, Oh, my plan A and plan B feel, you know, they failed. Just this time to start playing C. Yeah, for Cotsucker, which is what you looked at when you <laughs> when you're in the mirror. Yeah, C for Cotsucker, which is what the movie is. Or what the movie can be. If you want to make me a happy movie, be a Cotsucker. And get started.
Yeah, ambushes, right. This ambushes you into thinking it's a film that stars Dolph Lundgren or even like Randy Couture and Nope. They're barely in the film. They're like a subplot. And most of it is these two lead douchebags who are unlikable, who maybe the movie's telling us not to like them, but at the same time it just makes me go, I don't want to watch these guys. I want them to get the fuck out of the way. I want to, to leave the movie permanently. If you don't want to do it for fight scenes, you're not getting much for fight scenes. If you're going to do it for action, I can't remember any damn action. Not a damn one. I have nothing good to say about this film. This is one of those worthless movies that I feel like I wasted my fucking time watching. And Dolph is so wasted, he really has nothing to do. I, every once in a while he pops up, when some dealers are killed, he's on the scene. Once, or once in a while pops up and talks with the undercover lady. Or talks in an office, or... Talks to Randy Couture, and where he says that line, you don't fuck up, and one day I'll be there. Or this lame fight at the end between Dolph and Couture. This movie is just pointless waste of time. And yeah, it's just funny. I'm looking at this poster, and it's just Dolph Lundgren, Vinnie Jones, Randy Couture. None of them the stars of this film. And the actual stars of this film is nowhere on the poster. <laughs> Go fuck your figure. I mean, maybe ambush is right. Does it make you think it's one thing? Ambushes you and tries to have its way with you. And I'm done. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next time. For another movie review in the Dolph Lundgren Marathon. Take care.